Okay, this video will show you how to change the nozzle on the quad fusion head. First thing you do is take T10 driver and remove the screw that's holding the nozzle in place. And you should be able to push the nozzle out fairly easily. If not, you can loosen these three stainless steel screws just a little bit and then it should come out. When you remove this, be careful not to pull the wire too tight. Uh, if you're in doubt, you can remove that set screw as well. Now, once you have it out, use a 1.3 millimeter hex and loosen this screw just about turn, turn and a half. Doesn't take a ton. Now, this will come out very easily if you haven't used your printer much. If it's been caked on with you know, melted plastic that's turned brown, then you might need to heat it up. You can do that with a variety of methods, as long as you're careful, like a lighter or a hot plate, or just setting the temperature of the block, just be very careful not to touch it. And with the latest version, we've marked these black to indicate that there's a metal insert and that they've been tested and QC'd, that they're aligned and functioning really well. We have this indicator mark pointing forwards, so it's going in that direction. When you line this up, just make sure that your PTFE sleeve is flush. So the way it is right now is definitely not flush because it's not rotated quite right. So you want it to be in better alignment. So just visually make sure that these two surfaces are aligned. And then go ahead and crank down on this. You only want to tighten it about eighth of a turn beyond when it first starts to give you a little resistance. It should look like that. Now it's okay if this is off by a couple degrees because the registration marks will help align it. Now here's the important part. When you're installing this, you might find that it doesn't want to go back in. And that's okay. What you're going to do is try to get it started. And if it doesn't get started, really the problem is this heater is fighting you. So you can loosen it and push it that way. It should be flush like it is here. And just push into the heater this way. So see how I'm tilting it to the right side. So once you do this a couple times, you'll figure it out. Um, you can also wiggle this in what would be the Y direction of your printer to get it in. So once it's in, the most important thing is to realize there is a metal ledge in here. Now you want to see that metal ledge go all the way up. And it's going to be pretty hard, so I'm going to try to focus the camera on this to show you what I mean. So right in there is the metal ledge. And when you're done screwing this in, you should be seeing the screw push this whole assembly up. So as I'm tightening it, you see how it's getting sucked up? Now that means that the PTFE liner has been pushed up Everything's aligned and you won't get any loading issues. And that is how you replace a nozzle on the quad.